Alright, just a fast video on a FX4100 with a 95 watt TDP um, running at 4.6 gigahertz on a Sabre 2 FX, uh, sorry, 990 FX R2.0. Um, so now they're showing you right here. These are stock voltages. As you can see, the original was 3600. We have a 27% overclock. Multiplier is set at 22 and a half times. Push the front bus up just a touch. Uh, crank the hypertransport Northbridge clocks. Um, just using some cheesy A data, premium uh, RAM, 9924, 1333 megahertz, two four sticks, so eight gigs. Um, you notice the GPU is uh, running a little hot, so we're using to do the capture and actually the fans up because the temperature is up slightly. Um, it's not too much actually, anyways. Um, that's overclocked as well. Um, original GPU clock, I believe, was 860, and the memory clock was 1200 or something. Um, this runs very comfortably here as well. Um, no issues. This is a daily, daily use machine. Um, there you can see the voltage. So we're not even anywhere near the max voltage yet. I could push this a little, uh, a little higher, a little harder, um, but uh, it's um, stable where I have it um, for everything that I do: watching movies, playing games, surfing the net, uh, you name it. Whatever I'm doing on it, it is totally 105 percent stable. Um, here you can see the diode temperature on the GPU is actually not hot at all. Um, the 46% that you saw back over down here is the actual fan um, pump, um, which is my liquid cooler for the CPU, is a Tech 920. Um, yeah, so there you can see. Uh, actually, I'm not using the GPU. That would be over one volt if it was engaged. Back to overclock for a second. There's an overclock here. Yeah. Nine fifty, twelve fifty. Uh, what's our original? Does it say original twelve hundred? Remember, there it is. Eight sixty. Eight sixty. So we're in the the actual GPU clock and twelve hundred on the memory. You can see it, it's an easy 95 watt TDP. Um, the voltages, those are what are, what are really important. Memory bus slightly sped up. Like a 
I say cheap land. But it works. Um, over here, under operating system, our total uptime now is 10 days, 2 hours. Um, longest I think I've gone is like 47 days or something. Um, generally, what happens is the only time that I really turn the machine off or the machine goes off is for an update. Um, aside from that, I never turn the machine off. It goes to sleep. Um, I'm a firm believer that once, uh, you know, something's uh, up and running, especially circuit boards, I don't like turning them off and on. Um, just, uh, you know, from the expansion, contraction thing of the heat and so on and so forth, especially when you're overclocking. So I find, you know, once the machine is going, um, you know, I throttle it down, don't get me wrong, if, uh, you know, I'm not going to be using it or whatever, the drives and things will spin down, things of that sort. Um, I have an SSD in it too, which makes a world of difference too, um, you know, for boot times and that kind of thing. Um, she does boot up in under 11 seconds from a cold boot. Um, and not to sound, sound uh, greedy or anything, but you know what, after you get used to even a 10 or an 11 second boot, it's, yeah, I know it's a lot shorter than the old days of a minute or two minutes or three minutes. Um, but even 10 or 11 seconds for the amount of time that I use the machine is a very long time um, for something to boot up. Um, and we figure in this day and age we can boot things up a hell of a lot quicker than we do, but um, yeah, so just a you know, brief little synopsis video of, uh, of just an inexpensive uh, combination of hardware. Uh, GX750 Cougar Master Power Supply, single rail 61 amps, still using the same one. Um, as I said, the ADATA Premier RAM is cheap. Uh, when I got it, I got it for 80 bucks. Um, for, uh, sorry, 40 bucks for the two sticks, now it's 80. Um, can't believe how much RAM went up in such a you know, brief period of time. Um, as you can see, everything is like lightning quick. Um, this is set to random, so pardon my music, but uh, probably kills it for monetizing the stones, but as you can see, everything's pretty uh, pretty quick, uh, and uh, yeah. So for like a hundred dollar processor and you know one hundred and eighty dollars, I think I paid for the motherboard, forty for the RAM, uh, your three twenty, hundred for a good power supply, four twenty, an expensive case, fifty bucks, four seventy, uh, GPU now uh, HD seventy eight five zero. Uh, shop around, you can pick that up for 165 bucks. Um, so by the time you whip everything together, you got a pretty decent gaming rig uh, for around 600 bucks. Um, you know, I added a couple of little extras, a Reven 6i digital uh, fan controller on that to work in conjunction with the uh, the uh, Asus cooling system that you know comes with the motherboard and all that kind of thing. Um, you know, your friends come over and they see that and they're like, wow, that looks pretty slick. Change the colors and that kind of thing. Um, I coupled the uh, the actual board uh, using the audio out of the GPU through HDMI and then got that hooked up to a set of uh, Z5500's Logitech's, which are just absolutely amazing for gaming. Um, you know, you get a lot of bang for a lot of buck. I bought them refurb, they got them for 200 bucks, which is a steal. Um, I can't stress or recommend enough that if you have uh, the environment or space to get a set of speakers, uh, you know, like the Z5500s, I would, I would do that. Also, a K800 Logitech wireless uh, illuminated keyboard, um, you know, to, uh, to type in the dark and that kind of thing, um, which is nice. Uh, it's lithium rechargeable, so you can... Uh, and just plug it into a USB port and recharge it. Mine lasts for about a month, um, which is cool. You know, I don't have to swap out batteries and that kind of crap. Um, software warns you when it's low. Uh, same with the mouse. I've got a, um, 
forget what it is, an MX, MX5000 or something, Microsoft mouse, uh, dual band, uh, blue laser. You can use it on sand, floor, rug, bed, whatever. Uh, thing is great. So essentially, uh, back of the machine, I've only got uh, currently four cords going into it. One's a power cord, the other one's an HDMI cord. Uh, the other one's the cord to my camera, my HDMI camera. And the other cord, because uh, I'm not using the Wi-Fi right now, is a uh, Cat6 come off my, my router. Um, so I can actually eliminate the camera wire and the uh, switch over to my wireless end and get rid of the gigabit Ethernet wire and basically only have two wires coming out of the back of the computer, the HDMI cord and uh, the power cord, everything else is wireless. Um, you know, network keyboard mouse, uh, Bluetooth, all that kind of stuff. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's it. Um, it's probably a boring video. You know, I'm not really moving around too much. Uh, you know, I'm just showing some clocks, that kind of thing. Um, oops, I want to show my email. Um, you can see Mass Effect 3. Uh, I got a couple of other games installed on here. Um, Skyrim, uh, Battlefield 3. Um, I don't know what else do I have. Uh, Deusax. Um, Civ 5, like all, all kinds of different games. Um, and like I said, not a problem. Everything runs well. Um, and yeah, so anyways, I uh, hope you like the video. Um, and uh, yeah, so uh, some comments and that kind of thing. I can't be more than happy to answer anybody's questions or help you out with your overclock and your rig setup and, and maybe exchange some information and learn some more things in the process. So, again, thanks for watching.